What's going on, you guys? It's me, Central R6, back with another installment of Games I Beat This Summer. Last year, I made a video talking about the games I beat last summer, and it kind of got a decent response. So this summer, I had a little bit of time off, and I just I beat quite a few games. I just want to talk about some of the games I beat. One of the games I beat over the summer was, which is a classic, one of my favorite games of this uh, of the horror genre, and that is. Resident Evil Zero. This is one of my favorite Resident Evils, if not my most favorite Resident Evil that I've ever played. Um, people now, they're really excited about Resident Evil Zero getting remade. But when it was not cool to play Resident Evil Zero because it was on the GameCube, people hated on it. So now that, you know, it's coming out, everybody's like, oh my god, it's the greatest Resident Evil ever. It's awesome. It's great that it's coming out for, you know, the Xbox One and PS4. They didn't like it before, so I don't know. I'm glad they're remaking it, but eh, I'm not. I'm not one of the fanboys. Another game that I beat was Tales of Zillia 2. This is an awesome game. Um, it got a little bit of flack, but I thought it was pretty good. I, I kind of didn't like how Jude was kind of a pushover, but other than that, man, this game the game was. Awesome. I gotta play through the second one. I have it. I just haven't really played through it yet. Another game that I beat, it took me forever to beat this game. It was uh, pretty hard for me back when I was a child, but this game is pretty, it's pretty fun. Cyborg Justice. Awesome, awesome, awesome game. I talked about it in one of my older videos. It's a mech game. You know, you build your mech up, you come up, you beat other mechs rip their arms off, heads off. You can like make their parts part of your own. So it's, it's a pretty good game. The next game, oh my god, I used to play this game so much as a kid. I used to go to my buddy John Cavill's house and we played this motherfucker for hours. And that is the bouncer. The graphics on this game for being an early PS2 title is is one of the some of the best graphics I've seen. Um is a beat em up. It, it's kind of janky, but it's still an awesome game. I, I recommend it to anybody who likes a cheesy good beat em up. The voice acting is pretty good, and the, you know the graphics are good, but you know the combat can be the controls can be a little janky. So this game here, I'm not a big sports guy, but this game here, boy, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater Underground. I had beat it once when I was younger like 16, 17, and I came back to this game, and I understood why I enjoyed it so much as a kid. This game is just, the story is good, the music's awesome, like the tricks, everything. It's just, it's such a good game, and I think it's kind of underrated. The next game that I beat, it's, uh, it's actually an import, and this game is... Front Mission. Awesome RPG. I wish they all came out in America, but they didn't. On um, this game, you know, you're a commander. You watch your girlfriend, your fiance get killed, and it's, it's 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 a lot to get into, but it's a really good game. Um, if you like Gundam, all like mobile suits, this is awesome. And if you think you can't play this game because it's in Japanese. You know, don't worry about it. The menus are in English, so you can navigate through the menus. Some of the cutscenes have English dialogue as well, so it, it, it's a good game. I'd really recommend it. The next game I beat was One Piece, A Limited World. It's a great game. Um, my buddy R2, my D2, we actually kind of had a race of who would beat the game first, and I. I ran through it. He was kind of pissed. He took, oh, I'm doing all the extra shit. No, man. He was just mad he couldn't beat it as soon as I could. The next game I beat, it kind of sucked, in my opinion. I wasn't a big fan of it. It was okay. But I still wanted to, you know, get through the game. Ragnarok RC. This, 
uh, I don't know. It's 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 kind of like I want to be Monster Hunter. It's okay, but eh, yeah, it's okay. The next game, Dragon's Crown. This game, it's kind of like uh, I beat them up. There was another game that just like this on Vanillaware um, for the PS2. Odin Spear. Just like this. Fucking awesome. Oh, this, this game too. And I... It's such a fun game. Next game. Yeez. Memories of Cell Setter. This is also a good game. I really enjoyed this game. I actually beat it twice. I beat it on a normal difficulty and then I beat it the second time I dropped this shit on the hard difficulty and that was pretty good. The next game uh, my boy Sprites and Bites recommended this to me. Don Don Ropa. This game is fucking awesome. It's a it's a, uh, it's a visual novel. And it's a great game, the mystery in it. You got you gotta figure out who killed who and do all those the little uh, activities and cutscenes and stuff to try to prove who beat who who beat who murdered who. So it's you know it's a really good game. And I definitely recommend it if you like visual novels. The this one and the second one, which I'm also gonna talk about, th these motherfuckers were hard to find. These were hard as the games to find. I dropped like super far to get them. But I'm talking about this. This one, this one was good too. It wasn't as good as the um, first one, but it's really a good game. I'll get this too. Next game, Pride of Justice. It's part of like the Super Robot Tyson series. This game, the graphics, the animation, and the shit is awesome. But when it comes to story, I can't tell you. Um. There's a lot of like mech animes and it's all combined into one game. Like characters from like, not in this one, but like in different, it's different because like 50 of these games have like big old Gundam, uh, Neon Genesis Vangalars, different, um, um, can't even think of the other ones. But it's, it's such a great game. If you want to get this, it's really cheap, like 20 bucks, I imported it, I would definitely recommend it. The next game is another import and is FIDA, the Emblem of Justice Remake. This game is super awesome. Okay, you're part of this uh, army and the guys that you are, they're corrupt. In the beginning, you saw this, this guy named Brian. And you know, you go into this town and you're like, hey man, like you're killing, like they're killing women and children. It's like, hey man, th these guys, they're neutral. They're not even against the guys that we're fighting against. What are you doing? And the, the, the general's like, oh, you know, bloodthirsty general or whatever. And he, um, the guy got mad. He defected. And um, two other characters, I think Ayn is other one, um, Charles is one, and uh, a couple other people that join your team. It's kind of like a Shining Force. They actually make reference to Shining Force in this game. Like, a good three, four times they make references to Shining Force. Like, oh, we're not the Shining Force. Or, um, oh, you think we're some kind of Shining Force and it's different shit like that. And then one part they're complaining how one of the, the your character, one of your people that's traveling with you is complaining how you're killing a bunch of people. And like, oh, your prize, uh, Shining Force crew killed a whole lot of people than we do. So I thought that was funny. They made quite a few references to Shining Force in this game. The next game I beat and ran through, Dragon Ball Z Xenoverse. This is a fucking sick game. This game is fucking sick. Um, you create your own character and you run through different parts of the DBZ storyline. And, um, you know, just play through it and try to make everything correct because someone's trying to mess up the um, time and what things happened. And you create your own character. And... It goes all the way up till uh, the new Dragon Ball Z movie. Actually, uh, when Frieza comes back, the Golden Frieza comes in it with all the DLC and stuff that comes. 
which I bought the season pass, so I lucked out. Mortal Kombat X. This game, it's a good game. I like it. This, the ending in this bitch pissed me off. If you play this, you'll understand. The ending in the story mode, fucking ridiculous, man. It kind of pissed me off. All right, the next game, which is an awesome, awesome game. Dragon Age Inquisition. Really good game. The story, awesome. The battle, awesome. Everything about this game was, like, to the T. Um, people that are playing it, you're going to know you have to do these fades. Like, these fades you got to close. Close the fades. Please close the fades. Because later on in the game, you're going to need enough battle points to unlock certain points in the story. To progress in the story. And if you don't have enough power, which is, like, you rank up and close the fades, do other side missions, you cannot progress. I found out the hard way. I was at the end of the game. And I was like, yeah, I'm about to whoop the boss's ass. And I didn't have enough power. So I go back and close a bunch of the fades and level up. And I, I knocked this game out. It was fucking great. Another game. This is another Xbox One game. I thought caught a lot of flack. But I really thought it was an awesome game as well. Final Fantasy Type Zero. This game is fucking awesome. It's great. The story's great. The battle's great. Everything about it. You, you play as uh, Class Zero, which is like prospects everybody hates. They try to set up all the time and everything. And they end up saving everybody at the cost of their own lives. Spoiler. Sorry. But, like, it pissed me off because, like, they didn't get respect through the whole game. Everybody hated these guys. But they saved the lives. I'm telling you. Great game. The next game I beat was a Genesis game. Um, Robocop versus Terminator. It was a pretty good like third person shooter arcade game. It's a pretty good game. Hard than a motherfucker though. This shit is hard. But it's still a good game. The next game. Fire Hearts of Battle. This motherfucker is hard, too. This bitch here is hard. Hard, hard, hard. I suck at shooters, but this bitch is hard. But the music is the music's fucking awesome, dude. Like, I don't know. I think the music helped me deal with not rage quitting because I rage quit quite a bit. It's a great game, though. The next game I beat, finally... Resident Evil Umbrella Chronicles. This is a good game. It's kind of like uh, House of the Dead. Like House of the Dead or uh, um, Time Crisis type of game. It's a really good game. I recommend it. And I also end up beating the Dark Side Chronicles. This game is also good as well. This actually takes place during uh, Resident Evil 2 and shit. It's, it's really good. And the last game that I beat over this summer, well, even though summer's still going on, is motherfucking True Crimes New York City. This game is so sick. I love this game. This is the reason why I got Sleeping Dogs. Because I, it's supposed to be like a sequel to Sleeping, uh, Sleeping Dogs. I mean, Sleeping Dogs is supposed to be a sequel to True Crimes. And this is my favorite one. The music. Just the story, how you get set up. You can be a good cop, bad cop. It's just an awesome game. And if you get a chance to play the true crime series, get it. I never played L.A. But everybody tells me New York is better than L.A. So I never even got it. I didn't want to fall into that Dragon um, Dragon, Dragon Age you know, thing. Because I played Dragon Age 2 first. Went back to play 1. I struggled. And then Inquisition was awesome. So... That's it. I beat a couple other games too, but they're fighting games. So anybody can beat those. I didn't want to even add those in there. Really? Like some of the older fighting games like Marvel Superheroes and X Men vs. Street Fighter, shit like that. I didn't want to talk about those, but that's it, man. Rate, subscribe. Let me know what you think, man. And I'll be back Sunday with another video. Peace.